Good evening, fret friends. We have a bass on the bench. I get many basses. And this, I was called by a young lad. Uh, so he's having problems with his bass. Uh, I can see that the uh, radius is not set right on the saddles. Getting a bit of fret buzz here and there. Well, it's no surprise. I've been across the frets with Fret Rocker. It's got six high frets, so we're going to give this a fret level and a setup. Not giving it a complete fret level. I'm going to spot level with six that are high. That is it. So we're just going to get it playable. When I've leveled the frets, we are going to recrown and polish them, obviously. We'll polish all of them. We're going to treat the neck. We're going to make sure the nut slots are cut okay. We're going to set the intonation, set the saddles, set the amount of relief in the neck. Pretty straightforward. It's got one volume, one tone, split pickup. Nice thing. So these square bases are pretty decent. Crafted and ends in easier, probably a 2014 model. It's got a serial number CS14 on there. Nice looking base, nothing spectacular, but uh, yeah, nice looking thing. So uh, not a lot to report. I'll come and show you things now and again as I do them. Um, I'm not going to film a great deal on this. There's not a lot to show, to be honest with you. And the thing is, it's Wednesday. Wednesdays are days, I don't open the shop on Wednesdays. Wednesdays are days for what I call my reserve list. Or, or my emergency list. Anybody that rings me up, like I've had two people ring me up last night, for instance, got his guitar, blah, blah, blah. It's, I've just bought it off eBay, but the frets seem to be all over the place. Can you check it over for me? I call that an emergency because he just bought it from eBay. If I stick him in my queue and he has to wait three months, he's lost his chance of returning it. So I've had two of them in today. Um, some other jobs I've taken on as well. One needs some writing doing. I'm not getting the writer out this time of night, so I'll put it on the back burner. So Wednesdays are my. Um, like I say, my reserve list days or my, or my emergency days. I actually had seven guitars in today. I've got this one to do. I'm going to do this one tonight. I've got two others I need to change pickups on. Might get them done tonight. I don't know. It's getting, it's about half past five now. If I go to about half nine tonight, I'll probably get another three or four done. So without further ado, I'm going to crack on. Um, I'm going to do the setup as it is. Uh, just check everything. Make sure the intonation is right. All that. We're going to whip the strings off. We're going to have a look at these frets and we're going to put it all back together. There you go. I have done the setup on the bass and it plays really nicely. I've set the relief at the 7th fret to 0.3mm. I've set the action at the 12th fret on the bass side at 3mm. That's the top of the fret to the bottom of the string. And 2.25mm on the treble side. I've set the radius on the saddles and I've set the intonation. It's absolutely bang on. The bass plays really, really well, bar a little bit of buzzing because of the high frets. So it just needed a proper setup. Uh, there was no relief in this neck at all. It was set dead straight. That's why the lad's been having problems with it. So uh, I'm really happy with the setup now. So I'm going to remove the strings and I'm going to do the frets. I'm going to level the frets. Now, chances are you're not going to get to see me leveling these frets because uh, we're losing the light. It's getting a bit dark. It is 6.30 in the evening. Um, I'm going to be spot leveling them. I'm probably going to go and do them on the bench behind me with a spotlight. So I may turn the camera on just to show you one fret. Um, but I'm going to crack on because light, the light's against me and I want to get done. Why I still have enough light to work on this bench, I am going to carry on working on this bench. So I've just loosened the truss rod just to set the neck dead straight. Because I need it dead straight to check the frets. And that is bang on. So we're just going to go across the frets with you, fret rocker, you know how this works. And just we're going to eke out any high frets that was rocking. And I'll mark the area, I have three areas, middle is two, furthest away is one, closest to me is three. So one, two, three. That's just in case I'm going to draw a map or a key, I could just write down which frets need attention. And like I say, I'm just going to spot level, and I'm not going to faff about. I'm not, certainly not going to faff about for the camera. And if it happens to be more than six, tough now. I said I'm going to do it. I have to tell you, I'm going to do the fresh for thirty quid. So, but I'm going to tap them in slightly with a hammer, so some of them may reseat and seat better. That's five. 
certainly not terrible. That one's not going in. I'm hoping this one's going to knock in because it's right, like close. It's that close to the body. I'm going to have to wear uh, a neck off to get at that one. And I don't want to do that. Let's hope that these ones further up are going to be okay. I think these ones up here were all right. That's seven already. There you go. So I'm, I'm losing money there. But I'll tell you what, seven. That is not terrible. So let's not faff about fretting hammer. Got a metal side, got a nylon side. Just going to tap them with the nylon side. And check again. That's still high. Let's fix that one. This will not be fixed with a hammer. Sometimes they're just slightly unseated. Still high. Still high, but not too bad. Still high. Always support the fret your hammer in. Go with the metal size, not going to hurt it. Oh, it's a little bit better. That's not so bad. That's still high. Not so bad there. It's a little bit higher there. This one's high as a kite. Okay, still plenty of work to do. But certainly less than we had initially. Oh, a little bit there. Still higher there. And that one we've leveled, that's fantastic news. So we've leveled two of them, we've still got a little spot level five. So I'm going to do it within this light, with the camera on as it is. I'm not going to faff about. It's not the most difficult thing to do, even in this light. So I'm going to take three files. And by spot leveling, I'm going to spot level. So leveling them all that way and doing the lot in one go, I'm going to spot level one fret at a time. And I'm going to do it with a flat file. This is my number four cut Swiss file. I'm not going to explain anything too much. I'm just going to get on with it and crack on. So. Rocking just in the centre there. Just going to take the flat side of the file. I'm going to hold it evenly. I don't want to be digging it that way or that way and scratching the fingerboard. So I'm going to just use these fingers just to steady. And I'm that experienced because I do this job that often. I can just spot level going that way and follow. I can follow the radius. Just a couple of strokes. Always need to wipe the file. Couple of strokes. I don't even need a support hand there. I'm just going to go really gently across. Follow the radius. It will find its own level. And that, my friends, should be spot on. That fret is now level straight away. No faffing about. Stumac Z file. This has got a long cut and a short cut. Flip it over. Short cut and a long cut. Opposite ends. This will not touch the top of the fret, but it will, will rebuild that crown. Where we flattened it, we're going to rebuild the crown. So, just a couple of scoops over there. Diamond file. Great piece of kit this, this is going to rebuild that crown, wipe the file and finally last file, this has already got the crown in it, again a diamond file, really simple and this is just going to really to smooth that off and that's that one done and there you go, repeat the process, but what we're going to do is we're going to check the fret I've just worked on, it is no longer high Check one back, check one back there, check one forward, that's fine forward. Going back one, this one now is a little bit high. And that's always the problem when you're working on frets. 
If I alter that one, it's going to alter the relationship between these two. So what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to take my hammer, just going to slightly tap it in, check again, just a little bit higher. I'm going to do exactly the same on this one. So now where I was doing seven, I'm now doing eight, and this is a problem with spot levelling. That's why we prefer to do the whole lot in one go. But that's just going to need a little bit of work. And there you go, that's that one done. So again, I'll just show with the other two files. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be no faff Frankie on this tonight. So that's those two frets leveled. Now we're gonna check one back again. That's absolutely fine. Check one forward. That's it, so these frets are now level and they're beautifully crowned again. Always clean your file. One there. One there. One there. Again, fret rocker out. Check your next one that's marked up. Just rock it, just rock it down the end. So you're basically watching me work live at the moment. That's that one done. Check the next one along. That's going to need quite a lot of work. Still high in the middle. And what else is fine? Again. And this, don't forget, I've done this one as well. Let's see where we are. So I've done one, two, three, four. Just check again. We're all good. This is one I've just done. This is one I've just done. All level, fantastic. Move on to the next one. Clean the file. Last one at this end. So you now see I'm now working live. I'm not pausing. I'm not pausing for breath, I'm not stopping. Just get them done. Good, check one back. That was a little bit high on this corner now. I think we'll find that that's okay now. That's okay. That's okay. Okay, clean file. Clean the file. to the next one go back check again check all the ones we've gone by now so leveled and crowned now I've got high spots on this one that's because we've worked on the one next to it just give it a tap Probably still going to be high. Just a little bit. Again, clean the file. So you get to see why we always prefer to do all of the frets. Because this seven I was doing has now turned into probably nine or ten. That's just the way it goes. That's why we don't like spot leveling. We like to level the lot. Much easier to level all of them. It takes longer, obviously. 
there you go, and I think now I'm going to be just about done. And that was a little bit high again because I removed it from there, and now I've got to remove stuff from there. But we are getting less and less as we go across. Now that one. So everyone's going to end up getting worked on. And there you go, that's it. We've now got a level. Because I've removed so little from them, where they need to go with the profiling files. So one, two, three, four more to do. We've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There was only seven initially, there's now eleven. That's because when you alter one, it alters the relationship with the next two along. So if I alter that's that one and that one, I've got to check, and that one and that one. I think you see how it works. That one's good. That one's pretty much okay. Not fantastic though. So this one just need to just scoot over. Just needs a little bit of level in there. So profiling file is fine. Just bear with me, someone's knocking at my door. That's my wife, that's okay. She didn't know if I wanted feeding or not. So let me just check in, where were we? This one. One needs work. This is the last one I can really do here because the body's in the way. So let's just grab something to cover that body because I don't ding it with a. Uh, that's why we always have chamois leather in the workshop, just to, so we don't slip and ding. If we do slip and ding something, we're not going to cause any damage. Just got enough room there. Just got enough room to do that one. Good. Again, because we're removing so little material, we could just go with the profiling file. That's fell off, but that's okay, because I'm only using this part of the file. Very good. Hopefully this one doesn't need any work. And it doesn't, that's fantastic. That's one that knocked in. The last one needs a little bit of work just on that far side. This is fantastic news because I can just get at it here without needing to cover anything. And I think that will be it. My experience tells me that will be enough. Oh, still a little bit on the edge there. So right on the far side. Again, and that's it, that's all of those frets level, we'll check one back that way, that's fine, that's fantastic, so they are all done, I'm wrong file, profile file for this one, so all the ones that needed leveling are now leveled, and that is the frets done, let's just go across with fret rockers, I want to check this one here, that's good. That's good. Yeah, very happy with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray the fingerboard with some mineral oil. You know it's lemon oil. It's actually a specially formulated mineral oil for the darker woods on necks. I.e. we're looking at pal ferro, rosewood, um, all these type of woods, uh, ebony as well. And it will nourish the wood. It will, what would it like soak in for a bit? It can lift up any grime, any sweat that's stuck down there and we'll get rid of all of that. And there you go, that's the first level. That 
was a little bit higher there, right on that. I just saved that. Okay, another extra one. Just going to give this a couple of scooches across there. And that should be it. I believe that's that one. And that's it. Again, hit it with a profiling file. And that's it, we are done. That is the fresh level. I'm gonna grab some lemon oil, like I said, mineral oil. This stuff, I keep this bottle because it's, uh, it's a spray bottle. I don't know if he is. I'm gonna let this do its job for 10, 15 minutes. Once that's done, once that's soaked, I'm gonna come and wipe it off. While all this is happening, I'm gonna polish the frets. A little bit on there for good measure because that will nourish and slightly darken the wood as well, so that's fantastic. So while I'm here, get that out of the way, wet the rag, clean my file, there you go, looks like rubbish come off it, look. I will get it back with a steel brush in a bit. Again this one, and this side, get a steel brush on all three of these files in a minute. Stick them over there, stick the packs over there. Put tools away. Always best to try and keep as tidy as you can. Get your tools away. Don't want anything in your way. You don't want to be lifting stuff over your guitar. Pens away. Mineral away. Strings are there. So that's good. While we're here, we do need to wipe the guitar. So let's give it a wipe with this cloth. Get rid of any dust, what have you. That's good. Keep the strings out of the way. And that's it. I can leave about 10 or 15 minutes. Let that do its stuff. But while that's happening, again, we're live. So you may as well see what work I do in a normal situation rather than keep stop starting. So I'm going to grab me what we call a fretboard guard. We call them a fret guard, but they're a fretboard guard. And this is a rubbing zip. We'll grab that and we'll stick it over the frets. Just before we do that, we are going to cover the pickups because we're going to be using steel water policies frets. Now this will guard the fingerboard, but leave the fret exposed, as you can see. And because I'm going to be polishing these with steel wool, I'm going to cover the pickups because the pickups are magnetic and they will attract wool fibers or filings. And then we get into the pickups and we don't want that. So we cover them totally. And any filings that are attracted toward the pickup we can brush off before we remove the tape. So there you go. I'm going to grab me some extra fine steel wool. This stuff here. Don't need all of that. Let's zoom that out of the way. Some extra fine steel wool. Finest there is. And we're just going to scooch over the top of the frets and just polish them up a little bit. We're also leaving the oil on the fingerboard to do its stuff. We're not spoiling anything. This is enough of a polish when you've just scooted over frets with diamond files. If, now, if this is a refret, I'd be going over with seven grits of sandpaper. But here we go. So, I think I can safely turn off the camera now. I'm going to leave this on for 10 15 minutes once that's done and get strings back on, tune it in, and bingo, the base will be done. So, back soon, guys. And there we are, frat friends. We are all done, and it wasn't a major job on this one, just basically uh, a standard setup and um, leveling a few frets. Okay, I had to level more frets than I expected. Uh, it would have been better just doing the whole lot, but you know. Uh, if it's something you can do just by spot levelling, why spend 120 quid on something? Um, so, the base, when I set it back up, for some reason the action was really high, I don't know why, so I reset the neck, uh, checked every nut and bolt, tightened everything up, uh, dropped the saddles again, we have a nice 9.5 inch radius over the strings. Now the guitar plays really well, stays in tune, it looks the part, and it's all clean and it's working. Just one thing you needed to do, I didn't check strap pins 
That one was a tiny scooch on that one. Check this one. And that's it, we are all done. So without further ado, we'll wrap this one up, move on to the next one. Just want to remind you of my website before I go, uh, facebook.com forward slash ng17. That's facebook.com forward slash n-g-o-n-e-s-e-v-e-n. There's also fretfriend.co.uk. But that is it until the next one. So as always, God bless you. Be good to each other. And I'll see you in the next one.